Okay, so I don't have a script, so this could go very badly. Don't mind my Superman hair trying to peek out. Anyway, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, Yeah, I'm Jackson Powers, as you guys know, and um, this is the first time you've seen my haircut because in the one-year video, I had a hat on. That's besides the point. So in this video, sorry, it's the most boring intro ever. Um, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about what I think the Colts should do in the offseason. Uh, my friend, Decimator13, he did this. He's a Bengals fan. He talked about what the Bengals should do in the offseason. I'll put his link in the description. If you can't say I'm stealing your idea because I gave you credit for it, Devin. Okay? Anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> um, so the Colts, as many of you know, Philip Rivers has recently retired. So... The first bit of business is going to be determining what we should do with the quarterback situation. And um, there's a lot of options on the table. Because um, in the draft currently, the Colts sit at number 21. Now, there are rumors that they're potentially going to trade up and try to get a quarterback. So I don't think they'll do that because Chris Ballard values his draft picks. Like, he only trades them if he gets a lot in return. Like last year, trading the 13th overall pick for DeForest Buckner. That worked out really well for the Colts, and the 49ers sucked. So if it's a situation like that, th then Chris Ballard's definitely going to take the risk, and he's going to do it. But I think he'll only trade up in the draft if he if he's going to get a lot in return because he values his draft picks. I heard Colin Coward. He said that the Colts should potentially trade three first-round picks to move up to three. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Like, I don't even like anybody that we could get at three because Trevor Lawrence is going number one. I don't. The Jets will probably take Justin Fields. I don't even like Justin Fields. The Trevor Lawrence is the only quarterback in this class I actually have faith in to do something like in their first year. I'm going to be totally honest. Because the Colts, they're built to win right now. They're not built to to bring a guy along. They're built to win right now. So I think what they should do, they should use their 21st draft pick. And I think they should trade for Matthew Stafford. Now, hear me out on this. Ma Matthew Stafford, he has pretty much requested a trade. And both sides, the Lions organization and Matt Stafford have mutually agreed Um to part ways, which means they're either going to release them or they're going to trade them, which I think they'll trade them because they seem like they're about to go in full rebuild mode. Um, They did just hire a new head coach, which was a great hire, I believe. But I think them trading Matt Stafford is probably part of the beginning because you don't want to rebuild with a guy that you're going to get like maybe four or five more years out of. You want a guy that you're going to have for 15 years or 20 years. So that's why I think they're going to deal Matt Stafford. And there's no perfect there's more no more of a perfect situation he can go into than the Indianapolis Colts situation because we got a great offensive line. Uh we have up and coming receivers, I believe. Uh we have a great running game and a fantastic defense. So I think Matt Stafford, he wouldn't get hurt as much because he'd be way more protected. He would he cause the Colts, they don't have the greatest weapons, but we got we got some good weapons. Like we're not bad. We're not terrible weapons. So I think that the Colts should use that number 21 pick to try and get Matthew Stafford off the Lions. And I feel like they're probably going to have to give a lot to get Matt Stafford, but I think it'll be worth it because you're going to get Matt Stafford for like four or five years. And that's four or five years to win a championship, which I think the Colts could do with Matt Stafford because they they built the team that's ready to win right now. We haven't built a team to rebuild. Chris Ballard rebuilt this team in like two years. That's amazing. But... This team is made to, is built to win right now, so they need to do that. They need to go get a quarterback. That is that is number one. Either Matthew Stafford or I would not be mad if they made a push to get Dak Prescott in free agency. Like I would not be too mad at that at all. I would love Dak Prescott. I think he would do great on the Indianapolis Colts, but realistically, I think the Cowboys would be just straight up stupid to not resign him. So I think that the best situation is for the Indianapolis Colts to trade for Matthew Stafford. That settles the quarterback situation. Next up, we got to settle that left tackle position. Uh, so as many of you have probably heard, I'm terrible at reporting. I'm sorry. Um, the Anthony Costanzo has officially retired from the NFL. The Colts have had two big losses, their quarterback and now their left tackle. So Anthony Costanzo gone. That's a big void to fill. Anthony Costanzo was like one of the only veterans on that line like for a long time but I think Quentin Nelson is probably now the best veteran on that line um I feel like getting because 
I don't know what we'd do because I think there are, there's a lot of good tackles in the second round because Penny Sewell, he's going top five. He's too good to not go top five. If the Colts were to trade up, I think they would pick him because I think an offensive line, you, you don't have a good quarterback like, you can have the best quarterback. If you don't have a good offensive line, you're not going to succeed. That's that's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But I think with a – I don't know. They need to draft a lineman. That's just that, – no no moving Quit Nelson to left tackle. Frank Reich, I guarantee you it will not work. Quit Nelson is a guard. He is a guard for a reason. Keep him a guard. That's I would not move him to left tackle. I'm going to keep him at a guard. Maybe maybe take the Braden Smith – who is, I believe that is our right guard, no, our right tackle. Move him to left tackle because you need your best tackle playing on the left side and then go out and draft a right tackle. That's, I think that's the best situation you could do because you want experience on the left side of the line. You don't want rookies playing there. Like, except for Quint Nelson, he was the only exception because he was, you picked him number six overall. You expect him to do well and he did well. He's the best offensive lineman in the league. Fight me. But, that's besides the point. So I think that's what they should do with the line with the left tackle situation. They either need to find a really good stud to play left tackle, or they need to move Braden Smith, who was the current right tackle, I believe, over to left tackle. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. If it's not Braden Smith, whoever the right tackle is, move him to left tackle and then draft or sign a new right tackle. I think that's the best move here. Now, now that we got the two main points out of the way. I think the next big bit of business is improving that receiving core. And I think this is where you got to hit free agency for sure because you could tr make a trade for Matt Stafford. You could draft the linemen. But wide receivers, this is where we need to hit free agency, I think, because the perfect person that I think I would love to have is Allen Robinson. He would be amazing, especially if we got Matthew Stafford. That would just be incredible. But. Allen Robinson, I feel like he is needed on this team to help improve the receiving core. I saw something on Instagram a couple days ago that in 2017, the Colts actually made a push to try to get Allen Robinson, but he ended up on the Bears. So I think he ended up going back to the Bears. I think he's played on the Bears his whole career. I'm probably wrong on that too, but he ended up going to the Bears. Now he's in free agency, and I don't think he wants to go back to the Bears. So I think getting him to Indianapolis would be huge for sure, but Let's be realistic here. I don't think they'll get him. I think Allen Robinson will probably go to someone like the Ravens or another receiver needy team that's not named the Colts. So I think the next best option would be Will Fuller. He's did, he did get suspended during the season, but before he got suspended, he was playing lights out with Deshaun Watson. And I think if you put him, if you bring him to Indianapolis, he would play fantastic. I just think that's what I think that was what would happen. So. I think you definitely need to focus on getting receivers. And if you can't find anyone in free agency that wants to come here, uh, try to get – there's going to be a lot of good receivers in the second round. Chris Ballard has been really good about drafting wide receivers. Michael Pittman Jr. in the draft last year, he's going to be a, he's going to be a pretty good receiver. I think he's going to be a really good receiver this upcoming season. Um, he had a shaky rookie season, but he showed a lot of promise, and I think he's going to be really good. So maybe either – wide receiver try your best at free agency but if you can't get anything out of free agency then go and get somebody in the draft I think that is what the Colts need to do they need to try free agency and then if that doesn't work then you get somebody in about the second round because a lot of good receivers fall in the second round um, or third round you can really get a good receiver anywhere to be totally honest so and also with the wide receiver re-sign T.Y. Hilton I mean I understand he didn't play great but he's He's such a leader on this team, and we need to keep him because we have a lot of young receivers. Like Zach Pascal, he's he's like who he'd be the next step up guy, I think. So I think they need to keep Tua Hilton for at least one more year, just to because I understand he played bad in the first half of the season, but he was still adjusting to Philip Rivers. In the second half, he played fantastic. So I think that should be enough to keep T.Y. Hilton for at least another year. And T.Y. Hilton has publicly said he wants to finish his career with the Colts. So I think that Chris Ballard should re-sign T.Y. Hilton because you you need that you need that veteran leadership in the locker room because he's one of the really only veterans on the team right now. So I think you definitely need to keep him. That is a must. And other stuff they could do, um, they probably should beef up the secondary. Um, the secondary was actually pretty good this year, but they need to go out and hire a new uh, defensive back coach because the Eagles hired him, uh, hired our defensive back coach to be their defensive coordinator, 
which sucks. They also the Eagles also hired Nick Sirianni, our offensive coordinator. So the Eagles are just trying to be like the coolest. They're taking our entire coaching staff. So as long as we don't lose Matt Eberflus, I think the defense will still be good. But if we lose him, it's going to suck. But I think just make some improvements to the secondary and um, just go out and – just like minor improvements, not big improvements. I don't know, like a big name you could sign. You don't need a big name. Just like a small, just a small fix to something I think would be perfect. So just a quick recap, what I think the Colts should do in the offseason. I think they should trade for Matthew Stafford. For the tackle thing, I think they should move Braden Smith to left tackle and then draft a right tackle or sign one in free agency. With the right receiver situation, go out and try to get a big name free agent like Allen Robinson or Will Fuller. And then with the other things um just try to improve the secondary and also re-sign T.Y. Hilton so I somehow talked for a little bit longer than I thought I was going to so about like 10 or 11 minutes I really don't know but anyway that's gonna do it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it don't forget to like comment and subscribe I don't know why I did that but that's besides the point make sure you just do all those things also follow everything in the description box below um I'm going to try to post more, but, you know, school is annoying. So, yeah, if I do post, it'll be on weekends for sure. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.